to underestimate the significance of the two saints we're celebrating today. But if anything, they matter more for what they saw and what they did. Cyril and Methodius were brothers born in Thessalonica, northern Greece, the edge of a Slavonic world, in the ninth century. Cyril the Younger, who died young, became a priest, a monk, and with his brother, they saw another frontier, another chunk of the harvest to be won for Christ, the Slavonic world. And their mission, God-given, to which they were totally dedicated to the point of sanctity, was to Moravia, what we now call the Czech Republic, Slovakia, and parts of Hungary. Methodius outlived his brother by many years. His brother and he would, in modern terms, try to not just win over the Slavonic people, but enculturate Catholicism into the Slavonic peoples. And that double movement is always necessary. They did it by making accessible the scriptures, the liturgy, and particularly with Methodius, canon law. And of course, it's always a thin line with those who break new ground. Cyril died having contributed what we now call the Cyrillic alphabet, which came after him, but born of what he'd written. Because if a word of God can't be understood, its impact is going to be reduced. But there were those who resisted this. Nothing could be used which wasn't either Latin or Greek or Hebrew, not Slavonic. So you begin to see at what cost spreading the gospel can come. Methodius was made archbishop in what we now call Hungary. And he worked longer than Cyril. He was imprisoned by what we would now call German bishops. These geographical terms keep shifting, of course. For over two years in prison, because of his vision of what diversity the church could take. He was then accused of heresy, went to Rome to be tried. Part of the heresy was trying to use the Slavonic language in the liturgy, what we might call the vernacular. He was cleared of all the charges and greatly honored and Not only was Cyril buried in Rome, San Clemente, now Dominican church in Rome, but the Pope gave his own sarcophagus to be used for Cyril, unprecedented honor. And he made Methodius archbishop and legate to the Slavonic peoples. A lesson for us now that there thanks to a a Slav Pope, Pope St. John Paul II, now the co-patrons of Europe. The lesson for us is the church must have diversity in unity, and neither of those are given once and for all. Every generation in the church has to work for that. Without diversity, there would be a stifling uniformity. Without unity, there would be no coherence. And neither one or the other 
are usually under threat, either legitimate diversity or required unity. And so these two saints of today, Cyril and Methodius, are still valuable guides for us and we need their intercession. <laughs>